What's up, guys? It's Jordan and Tony from HQity. We're here Hello. in Achievements in a Barrel. Yes. We There's are another the game out there. We're gonna go find Achievements in it. Yes. Loco Cycle. It was, I believe, a launch title for the uh, Xbox One. Uh, Marketplace. I think you can get it on the 362. Not too sure. But it is an arcade game with a thousand points and I believe only 20 something achievements. Uh, let me check on that. Um, yeah, 20 achievements, exactly, for a thousand points. So, you know, not too hard. Is this the uh, uh, team from Mexico that's from uh, the Crazy Taxi Company? Uh, I think so. I, what I do know is Lindsay and Michael from Achievement Hunter uh, are in the opening cinematic. Oh, they are? Yeah, and they're, they're not really a big part, they're just extras. Uh, but okay. the entire game is accompanied by a movie. So, like, all the cuts, or like 90% of the cutscenes are a live action movie. And it's pretty cool, wow. actually. Yeah. The, the, the developers really did care about this game, and this I, is, uh, I really appreciated this is, that. This is a small developer group? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Um, it looked it looked kind of like an indie movie. Like, it was pretty good production quality, not gonna lie. Yeah. And I enjoyed this game because it really shows how much they cared, mm -hmm. and which makes it even better that the achievements aren't too hard. Yeah. Yeah, because going through this game, you're going to play the story mode, and you're going to get most likely 16 achievements, leaving you with about, like, about 700 gamer score. Uh, which okay. is pretty pretty tippy top, if no, I do say so good. myself. And then the other four achievements, actually not four, I'm, I'm lying to you. Erase what I just said, it's like nine achievements. But <laughs> but but the but three of the achievements are literally buying all of the extras from the movie. So like once you finish the game, you'll have experience that you spend. You go to like the menu, you go to extras, and you buy like all this like behind the scenes stuff from making the movie and making the game. Buy all uh -huh. that and you get like three achievements and it's great. Hear that? Pay to win. Yeah, <laughs> they don't win. But then there are four achievements that you most likely have to go back and get, or at least I did, and that's really it. And those four achievements take you maybe about 20 minutes. The entire game to play through the story mode should take you about four hours. I think it's six does, worlds. Does so, this poor guy ever get on his motorcycle? Oh, no. For for the longest time, I was trying to figure out what plot, like how they were going to get him like away from the motorcycle because I'm just like, if he does this the whole time, he's dead. But Now no, he's going to die. Nope, he's stuck to the motorcycle the whole time, and it's actually pretty funny. You use him in combat, you throw him like a boomerang, and then he comes back and sticks back to the motorcycle. Hmm. Yeah, this game's pretty funny. It's got a nice nice uh, sense of humor to it, and uh, thank God these quick time events aren't everywhere because they kind of get annoying. But yeah, the, game, the uh, game keeps it fresh, you know? Yeah, the motorcycle like, looks very, uh, very Tron-like, almost like another Achievements in a Barrel <laughs> video we did. Just about a week ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check uh, it out. <laughs> it's a cool motorcycle, and it's a cool game. It's weird because it's like you can shoot with the motorcycle, and then you can also like melee, and certain enemies need to be meleeed, certain need, need to be shot. And then the it just like it adds a new skill every level, basically, that you'll then need to complete, and it'll add new enemy types. So it's basically the same game through and through, but they, they mix it up enough for it to, to get four hours out of it, and that's what I liked. It, it, it knew it shouldn't be too long. That's good. Yeah. That's good. And I'm talking about the game a lot because the achievements are really that easy. And we're, mm -hmm. we're going to be coming out with two guides to complete. Uh, but really, there's not anything you need to know besides that this game's fun and a thousand points will take you five hours. Yeah, but you should uh, you should stick around for the video. We've got about another minute left. Yeah, uh, you know, you, you should stick around and watch. Talk about your feelings, maybe. Uh, I, had a, I had a long day. It was yeah, rough. Did you? I did, yeah. too. I got three hours of sleep. You know, that ever happened to you? Uh... <laughs> Sure. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't because of gaming either. So that that makes it even worse. If it's if it's hey if I choose to have three hours of sleep, you know, <laughs> it's different. But you know, this is a great game though. You should actually pick it up, Jordan. Mm -hmm. You should play it. Go buy an Xbox One and play it. Just get right for this. on. I'll get right on that. Let me just uh. <laughs> yeah, it's only six bucks. So let me just sell this computer and this recording device that I'm currently <laughs> using, and I'll get back to you. Yeah. So if you buy games specifically for by way of carrier pigeon. This one's a good one, because it's only six bucks, and it's enjoyable, unlike other games that we're going to do, Jumper, uh, <laughs> that <laughs> aren't enjoyable. Sorry, Don't a lot worry. of games with easy achievements aren't enjoyable, so you have to appreciate the ones that are. All right, guys. Okay. We're out. See you later. See you later. Break.